Hey YouTube, this is Kflynn300 here with another Minecraft tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to uh, do uh, schematics and uh, how to put in spirit craft pictures. So first thing you're going to want to do is find a schematic that you want. Mine is just a simple castle that I found online. Nothing fancy, I think. <laughs> and uh, you're, we're going to use that for MC Edit. And then uh, if you're doing a picture, like you want to put a picture in Minecraft, I'll have a download in the description. Like if you want a picture of you, you want to download Spiritcraft full. And... Um, you just double click on this Java file and it will open up. And I guess there's a newer download, so I'm going to check that out. Yep, there is a new download. Okay, so this is used for creating pixel art, and um, I'm just going to go right here and download the full version. Alright, so trash that one. Alright, and basically uh, this works like some iPhone apps. It takes a picture that you have and converts it to Minecraft pixel art. And all you have to do is go to browse, uh, pick a file. I'm going to pick, uh, is this my desktop? Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick Minecraft background. So this is my Minecraft background. Um, and this is the max width and height. You can change this to no max width and height, but this is a huge file. And that would be really bad because you get, you'd end up getting a picture so big that it wouldn't even fit in your world. Um, and you wouldn't even be able to see it and enjoy it. So... Uh, try to find a picture that doesn't look too complicated. This is going to be kind of complicated, so it might not turn out to be that good. But uh, make sure this isn't too big. And I'm going to print, uh, create a blueprint. So this is what it's going to look like. But uh, I think that's a little bit too big. So I'm going to go... Oops. So... Just gonna exit out of that. Um, I'm gonna make this uh, 100 by 100, or you know, what? let's do 200 by 100. Oops. Sorry, I'm in the dark here. Can't really tell what I'm clicking. Let me turn on the light. Okay. So, yeah, there we go. That's much, much better. It may not look the best, but trust me, it's better. So you're going to save it as a schematic. I'm just going to save it onto the desktop, and I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to call it pick. Okay, see how it's saved right there? Cool beans. So I'm going to put spirit craft back. So, um... Usually you want to get like a folder for all your schematics because they will build up fast. So this is a schematic that I found online and this is a schematic that I just created and we are going to open them up in mine in uh, MC Edit. I have MC Edit open already so we can just get started. Okay so once you're in MC Edit find a good open spot and click import and see right here you're in the MC edit file with it also has chests and a certain type of chests and uh, mobs and a whole bunch of uh, just a couple of stuff that you might want like pre-made things that MC edit was so kind to put in but uh, we're gonna go to desktop open and the first one we want um, we want the one that says pick where's pick here it is Okay, here's our picture. Um, it is rather big. Like I said, I'm going to back out here. And now what you have to do 
in order to move it, you have to rotate and then roll, and it will become flat. I like them flat on the ground just because I can walk over them and see them. Um, other people don't like that. Uh, that's it's really up to you. You can have it vertical or not. So then I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna cl left click and it will place there. And oops, looking up there. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I cut it off a little bit, but that's okay. It's just a demonstration. So there's our picture right there. Um, it does look really cool when it's a picture of you or something. It still does look pretty cool. Uh, so now you're going to want to click import. And it will take a second and it will import all of those blocks. And it will say one unsaved edit. So you want to press control and go to save. And it will save that. Okay, now that it's saved, when you show up in your world, like when you're playing in Minecraft, it will be there. So you don't have to worry. There's no, like, file fuss. There's no converting. It's already there. Um, next thing we want to do is I want to import a castle. I think it was the half mayor manor zip. I'm going to open that up. Where's my zip? Oh, shoot, I forgot. This cannot be a zip file. You have to unzip it and make sure that it's a schematic file. In here, oh, this is a world save. Okay, well, oh well, I will find a different schematic really quick. Um... Here's a schematic. I don't know what this is. If you created it, then <laughs> I guess I'm using yours for my video. I'll give you credit. Just comment. Sorry. Um, yeah. Okay. So import. And that was called the... Shoot. That was called the Mansion by Corollis. Mansion by Corollis. There we go. Open. And here's our mansion. I'm going to left click and then zoom out. Oops, a little bit too far. Okay. So this is the mansion. I do remember this. Uh, I, I believe Corollis did make this. Bravo, bravo, great, great creation. So um, I'm going to import it. And it's imported. And now I'm going to press Control, Save. Should take no time at all. OK. So that is really all, all that's to it. It's pretty simple. Um, again, with the pictures, you can increase the amount of pixels. Uh, this was a simple 100 by 200 by 100. And uh, it, it still looks all right. Um, that's how you import somebody's file from over the internet and play it in, my, in your Minecraft world. So have fun with this. I hope you enjoy it. And subscribe and like.